Okay, so we kind of just cut things short yesterday. The battery on the camera died. We pretty much stopped after um, we swept out most of the garage. So there's still gonna be like some really fine dust in the floor that we're gonna have to try and wash out. I have no water source down here, just my spray tank. So I'm probably gonna fill that with water and wash out the floor. But first thing, we're gonna paint the walls. So we got some paint. We got paint brushes. I got these T5. Uh, ballast, they're really efficient and super bright. I bought them back, shoot, I bought them a while ago when I was trying to make a white background for some videos and then I just ended up never using them. But I always kept them around with me and I am, I'm glad I, I did because I'm going to put them up in the ceiling sometime, but for today, um, we're going to use them. We're just going to prop them up against the wall so we can see better for painting. So right now, we have just these little dingy garage lights, as you know. So we need some more light. Ah! My god. Oh yeah. That's so much better. Still might get maybe one, one or two more. Um, but really, that would be sufficient for right now if we put them probably up in like right around here, kind of pointed this way so you get a little bit of back glass and definitely the side doors. So I think I'm gonna back cars in. Um, but yeah, those are awesome. We're gonna set up the paint and get started painting all this. So we've managed to paint this much of the wall. It doesn't look amazing, of course, because it's just plywood, but you know, it's coming along. Um, we have to move the stuff over from the other side, paint the other side, paint that. We're gonna paint the ceiling. And I don't know, I'm probably gonna get irritated and maybe paint like up by the garage too. I don't know, there's, there's a little bit of detail work there but it's coming along and it should make a pretty good space one thing i'm thinking is maybe putting like a little line of green on every other pillar just kind of break up all the, the white i'm not entirely sure yet but i can't really put too much like i want to put some padding here um but i don't want to lose like this four inches on both sides so like that's why i'm not putting like you know, drywall or something here to cover all this up and also an apartment garage. It's not like I'm gonna have this for probably even the next two years. I, I really don't know. Oh yeah, one thing real quick too. This little guy, this Mr. Heater, 30 to 60. It's about 20 degrees outside. It's kept the garage cozy warm. So um, we turned it up on high to, to bring the temperature up from, you know, 20s and left it on for about 10 minutes and it was toasty in here. Then shut it off for a little while, started to cool down over the next, you know, half hour or so and then we kicked it back on to 30 again. But this little guy makes a comfortable working space for in this garage, so I'm very happy with that too. So if you guys need a heater, not affiliated with them, but one of those little forced air propane heaters, I'd recommend an adjustable one, so if you want, you know, times, uh, a factor to you, you know, if you can just like if you have an insulated garage and um, you don't need it quick, then it doesn't matter. But to be able to crank this thing up and really get this place toasty, it does the job. So I wasn't really sure how loud that heater was going to be, but 
in some of the shots it's really noisy and in some of the shots it's not too bad so I'm gonna just try to maybe turn it away or something but um, it's cold and snowy outside so we have to leave it on for a good portion of this um, and I'm too lazy to put my lav mic on because I don't want to get paint on it and this already wow this camera is dusty as hell. We're gonna move all this stuff over. It should probably help because it's almost done already and then we're gonna leave that side. So, uh, this right here is probably why you get one of those uh, paint sticks. I just smack the end off so the other ends stuck the paint brush brushes on the floor making the floor white now good times okay so um after fucking with this for about i don't know 15 minutes got kind of way distracted with painting and she's painted most of this i've been thinking around with this i took two nails and i put them right there in the plastic bit that broke off. I'm trying to twist it out. So we're gonna see it. It started to come loose, so I might have just. Oh shit! Ah! Look at that! Ah, oh, it's coming out! Ah! Sorry. I didn't think I'd get it out. I might have fucked the threads a little bit, but uh, you see that? Probably not. There we go. Snapped in, taken off, two nails put down. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. Went right through. <laughs> That's cool. That actually worked. Saved this, and I'll get a proper stick next time. Okay, so we've been at this for a few hours, and we got this side mostly done, as you can see. It's not super great, but it's at least got a layer on that side. We have most of that side. We're gonna do that tomorrow. Um, we have one more gallon of white paint, and we might have to get one more. This is a lot more than I thought, but this does look better than it did. But it still kind of looks like hot garbage. It just does. It's just painted plywood, and I knew that going into it. So um, I'd like to do, like I kind of said before, I'd like to do something to the floor. Um, but we're gonna paint the ceiling, we're gonna paint that uh, far wall, and try to distract as much from the sides as possible. Now, of course, this was never designed to be um, a beautiful small tin shop. I, ideally, I would layer drywall around it and insulate it, and whatever, but I'm not gonna have the space forever. So, um, we're just gonna do the best we can, um, see what business we could pull out of this, and uh, try and figure things out as we go. So if you have any suggestions of what I could do, I guess, to make these look a little bit better than hot garbage, please leave them in the comments down below. But like I said before, I will be taking you on this journey and we'll figure this out together. And we will also be able to, I don't know, work on maybe some local marketing, um, some creative stuff, and really see what we can do with the space.